We have a clinical trial open at the NIH uh, in Bethesda, and uh, we have preclinical data that was evaluated in our laboratories in, in the NIH with the Women's Malignancies Branch, the laboratory of Dr. Patricia Stieg, um, that studies a lot of the brain metastasis and, and blood-brain barrier. Uh, they evaluated their preclinical data looking for different drugs that we could, in mice model, that we could use to treat or prevent brain metastasis for HER2 positive breast cancer or triple negative breast cancer that are the two prevalent populations that develop brain metastasis. And uh, interestingly, temozolamide was shown to be a drug that could uh, prevent the development of brain metastasis in this mice model, but not treat. Once the lesion is there established, it will not make a difference, as well as in many other drugs that we know and were tested in these models. But temozolamide was effective in preventing the development, even small or bigger brain metastasis in uh, this uh, mice with uh, HER2 positive brain metastasis uh, if used earlier. So, and the doses that they used were several doses, even higher, going to very low doses and still preventive. So, we saw that those results and uh, we searched to develop a clinical trial for the patients. We could not do a preventive trial from the beginning, meaning everybody that has HER2 positive disease will receive, that will be a big, big trial. So we decided to develop um, secondary prevention trials. So patients that already have brain metastasis from HER2 positive breast cancer and were treated f with either cyber knife, uh, stereotactic radiation, locally treated surgery, uh, would be eligible for this trial uh, immediately after, six weeks or so. Um, and we, the idea is to give temozolamide to these patients from then on, so to prevent new lesions, and uh, associate that with TDM1, which is the CADSILA that we know, uh, that is a second-line drug approved for treatment of HER2-positive metastatic breast cancer. The idea is that the temozolamide doesn't treat breast cancer, so we need a drug to, come to, to, to do that, the systemic treatment, so TDM1 is that drug, CADSILA and we will be offering temozolamide as well. We have a good group of patients in the phase one already, which is to see the, 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 um, the toxicity or safety of the drug. So far it's been safe. And I just want to put the word there so the patients know about that uh, possibility. Just get in touch with, uh, with the NIH um, and we can, and the, the, the trial is in the clinicaltrials.gov as well, uh, looking for temozolamide and brain metastasis. That could be a good option for these patients. Thank <laughs> you.